going to be playing Jeopardy. Let's see how we do. Okay. I'm ready to have a great game. Take it on Carol and Jill this game. All right. Here we go. North American Mountains. Rituals. Fictional characters. HH. Astronomy, and we'll close it out with landmarks. All right, these are good categories. I will not change them. I'll keep them as they are, and we'll start with astronomy for 100. Self-luminous gaseous body, or Hollywood celeb. What is a star? Astronomy for 200. The more the evening or morning star is really this planet. What is Jupiter? Sorry. Not Jupiter. Okay. Oh, it's Venus. Okay. You are correct. All right, North American Mountains. In 1981, the U.S. Geological Survey published a post-eruption map of this mountain. What is Mount St. Helens? North American Mountains for 200. This mountain range occupies one sixth of California and contains three national parks. What is the Sierra Nevada Mountains? You are correct. North American Mountains for 300. Located in Washington, the greatest U.S. single peak glacier system radiates from it. What is Mount Rainier? You are correct. North American Mountains for 400. The highest mountain in Canada. What is Mount Logan? You are correct. North American Mountains for 500. Jackson Hole is a 7,000 foot high valley in this Wyoming range in the Rockies. What are the Tetons? And I ran the entire category, 1400 in cash. Let's go back to astronomy for 300. Planet once thought to have the only rings in the solar system. What is Saturn? Astronomy for 400. Name of the first artificial satellite. It was launched October 4th, 1957. What is Sputnik? Astronomy for 500. The only planet to have seasons similar to Earth's. 
What is Mars? There we go. Okay, let's have fictional characters 100. He and his band of married men appear in Ivanhoe. Who is Robin Hood? Uh, fictional characters for two. In Todd Sawyer, the Widow Douglas takes him into her home. Who is Huckleberry Finn? Fictional characters for 300. Joel Chandler Harris's favorite uncle. Who is Uncle Remus? Fictional characters for 400. Appropriately, Nathan Detroit moves his floating crap game to a sewer in this musical. Uh, what is Guys and Dolls? Fictional characters for 400? Or that was for 400. Fictional characters for 500. I'm sorry. Queequeg's occupation in Moby Dick. What is a harpooner? Okay, we ran that category. Let's take HH for 100. This playboy married one of his playboy centerfolds. Who's Hugh Hefner? HH200. The billionaire and Terry Moore is the beauty and the billionaire. Who's Howard Hughes? AJ for 300. She is called the First Lady of the American Stage. Who's Helen Hayes? Uh, AJ for 400. Along with Muskie, he lost to Nixon Agnew in 68. Who's Hubert Humphrey? AJ for 500. And we got the daily double. And five thousand one hundred dollars. How much of that am I gonna put at risk? I'm gonna do all of it. This is for ten thousand two hundred dollars if I get this right. Meredith Music Man, who's Harold Hill? All right. Got ten thousand two hundred dollars right now. Uh, landmarks for hundred. On the Vienna Memorial to this composer, the figures represent his nine symphonies. Who's Beethoven? Landmarks 200. You have to lie down on top of a castle and hang your head over the wall if you want to kiss this. What is the Blarney Stone? Uh, 
Wow, 300 landmarks. In the 1830s, part of this palace became a museum dedicated to all the glories of France. What is the Louvre? Oh, no, 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 palace, palace, palace. No, 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 no. The Louvre is a museum, so I'm going to say what is Versailles. You are correct. Ugh, I misunderstood. I misread the clue at first, and then I realized that was wrong. Good thing I changed it. The coronation throne of England is in the chapel of Edward the Confessor in this building. What is Westminster Abbey? You are uh, landmarks are 500. This museum by the Hudson House of the Metropolitan Museum's collection of medieval art. Let's see if Jill knows this one. She does not. Carol? Oh, the, uh, cloisters. You are correct. Okay. I knew not. Over to rituals. You do it before blowing out the candles on your birthday cake. What's make a wish? There we go. You are correct. Uh, 200. Sometimes held in secret, it gets you into a fraternity or a cult. What is an initiation? You are correct. 300, please. The Cha no Yu as performed by Japanese women. What is a tea ceremony? You are correct. 400. Throughout the Pacific, this toe singeing ritual is held when the Thai plant rap ripens. What is the ring of fire? So singeing, uh, or what is... Walking on fire, maybe? There we go. Came up with the right response, now the last clue. Since 1903, members of this New York City club have gone swimming in the icy Atlantic. Who are the polar bears? So I have $12,700. Carol has $700. Jill, minus $500. So let's go ahead and get ready to start playing the round of... Right about now. The categories and clues, a majority of them, were on my side for the most part. Will that keep going in double jeopardy? Let's find out. Starts with the letter G, the Bible, actors and roles, world of fashion, numbers, and we'll close it out with poetic quotes. All right. I'll do my best with these. Okay, let's get going. Actors and roles, 200, please. Karen Valentine, Sandra D, Sally Field, and Karen Richmond have all played this girl, Midget. Who is Gidget? You are correct. I'll take actors and roles for 400. Cary Grant played the Mock Turtle in this 1933 fantasy film classic. What is Alice in Wonderland? You are 
Oh, I'll take actors and rolls for 600, please. It was Lindbergh going to Paris and Mr. Smith going to Washington. Uh, 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 who, who, who is Jedi Stewart? Actors rolls for 800. And the answer there is one of the two daily doubles. I feel pretty comfortable with this category. I'd like to bet it all again. This is going to be for $27,800 if I get this right. Character played by both Diana Ross and Judy Garland in separate movie musicals. What is Dorothy? You are correct. $27,800. That's a lot of cash. He played Waldo's Uncle Quincy in cartoons and James Dean's dad in Rebel Without a Cause. Um, who was Jim Backus? $28,800. That's a lot of money. The Bible for 200 this group is probably best known for the Bibles it places in hotel rooms. For the Gideons. The Bible for 400. The last word of the New Testament. What is Amen or Amen, either or? The Bible for 600. Abraham was four score and seven years old when this son born to him by Hagar turned one. Who is Ishmael? Alright, let's keep it going. I have $30,000 sitting in front of me right now. The lyrics of the bird's hit, turn, 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 come from this book of the Bible. What is Ecclesiastes? All right. The Bible for a thousand. Now the distributed strip of land where Samson brought down the house. What is Gaza? Yes. Ran two categories completely. I would like to have numbers for 200. The decibel system is based on this number. What is the tenth? Four hundred? Uh, numbers for four hundred. <laughs> My bad. MCMXCII. The year that this particular video game adaptation was released. What is 1992? And coincidentally, that year was 30 years ago. Numbers for 600. The digit on the phone represented by DEF was 3. Numbers for 800. The number of the piggy in the children's nursery rhyme who had no roast beef. What is the fourth? Numbers for a thousand. What is 12 noon in Washington State? It's this time in Washington, D.C. What is 3 p.m.? Ran three categories in their entirety were up to $34,800. But what are quotes for 200 One of them begins, there once was a man from Kent. What is a limerick? What are quotes for 400 
Congre found that its charms can soothe the savage breast. What is music? You are correct. Four quotes for 600. All the money sitting in front of me. Alan Seeger had a rendezvous with it and met it in World War II in the fields of France. What is death? Quote unquote, it's 800. Where are we coming up with all this money? Sir John Suckling felt, Tis not the meat, but this that makes eating a delight. What's an appetite? Wow. We're on our way to completing four categories in a row. You are correct. Let's close it up. A husband heard a wise man say, Give crowns and pounds and guineas, but not this away. What is the heart? You are correct. We ran four categories in their entirety. Can we go for five? Starts with G for 200. First American to orbit the Earth in space. Who is John Glenn? Start with G for 400. Oscar is to acting as this is to music. What's a Grammy? Start with G for 600. Adolescent version of the cucumber. What's a gherkin? I think we're going for five categories in a row. I think it's looking good. Starts with G for 800. Away he'll schlep with his elephant chef while Stella and Ursula sway instead. Who is George of the Jungle? Starts with G, 1,000. This poisonous lizard is found is only found in the southwest U.S. What's the Gila monster? So we know the other Daily Doubles in the category of World of Fashion, and I'm feeling pretty good about that category, so we may be running the entire Double Jeopardy round without Carol or Jill buzzing in once. Let's find out. The hat in the Mexican hat dance. What's a sombrero? You are correct. 400. There's a lot of money riding on this. There's the other daily double. Once again, I'm feeling pretty darn good about this. We're going all 41 grand, baby. Let's do it. This will be for $82,000. Here we go. South Seas garb worn by Dorothy Lamour on the road. What is a sarong? Yes. $82,000. Where on his body an Arab would wear the traditional kefiyeh? What is the head? Eight hundred. About seven yards long, it's the loose body wrap worn by Hindu women. What's a sorry? And now the last clue. This is it. The sash worn with the Japanese kimono. What is an obi? We ran the entire Double Jeopardy round 
Carol's still in it with 700, and Jill is going home. All right, let's look at our final Jeopardy category for today. It's going to be languages. Hang on. Here we go. I'm good. Carol? Okay, I feel pretty good about this, but I'll do 15,600. Revived in modern times, it's the only colloquial language based on a speech based on a written language. What is Hebrew? So I'm going to end up with $100,000. Carol's ending up with eight hundred. That was an awesome game. $100,000. I'll see you all for that next segment right after this break.